Well, the 2011 Tour de Rock team is well into training for this year's ride, getting set to do it again, cycling the 1,000-kilometer length of Vancouver Island. I've done a little bit of riding, but nothing as intense as this. And we're proud to tell you that our reporter for A News, Louise Hartland, will be representing the media, along with Cool FM's Brittany King this year. This morning, the two took to the airwaves to talk about their commitment to this year's ride. Over the next five months, Brittany, Louise, and 20 police officers from up and down Vancouver Island the team from the south training right now, the team from the north also hard at training, will be fundraising for the tour. It begins September 24th in Port Alice. Santa, Constable Steve Robinson is committed to his job as a Saanich police officer, but two years ago he had to stop. Went from presumably healthy guy to, to a procrastinating guy that wasn't going to my doctor when I should have, and um, thanks to my wife. I went in and had a routine checkup and was on an operating table within two days. Robinson was diagnosed with testicular cancer. It was, it was quite severe and, and we battled it and we won. Now he is committing to his next challenge. Together with 18 other police and RCMP officers and three media riders, Robinson is training for the 2011 Tour de Rock team. Three days a week, each of these riders and trainers gives up hours of their time, preparing for a two-week, 1,000-kilometer bike ride from the northern tip of Vancouver Island, west to Tofino, and south to Victoria. The training is intense, but I have to say the trainers do a remarkable job. I don't think I'd be riding the distances we have been uh, in the short period of time that we have. Trainer Rob McDonald rode the tour in 2007. It's a tough ride, but we get the training up to the, to the level that it needs to be so that the riding is only secondary and the emotional part is the tough part. With every ride, each person gets stronger, and as a team, we work together with a common goal. Raise money for the Canadian Cancer Society for Pediatric Cancer Research and to support children and their families living with cancer, something near and dear to Robinson's heart. Well, if I can offer a, a day of bike riding or laughing or pain-free playing, then it will keep me on a bike as long as I need to be on a bike. Tomorrow, the team will be presented with our official Trek tour bikes at the Royal BC Museum from 1 to 3, and you are welcome. And while Robinson is excited, he knows it's a long road ahead. Mentally, it's going to be strenuous and, and physically, but I think it's probably going to be the best time that any of us have ever experienced, no, no question. In Saanich, Louise Hartland, A News.